barbecue them or grill them um, and it's 100% British so you can they're really they are just so easy if you're buying the meat and just be careful when you're do, handling raw meat that you do wash your hands um, after handling it so you don't cross contaminate and all we're going to do with this is break up the mince a wee bit and I'm going to add in one finely chopped onion. Now you can add in red onion if you wish. Um, the other thing that you can add into this if you want to make it a little bit more healthy is um, some grated carrot and that just makes it a tiny bit healthier. And I've beaten up an egg to go in there as well and I want to give that a really good squidge together. If you really don't like getting your hands dirty or getting your hands into raw meat then you know go and buy a pair of gloves. But you just need to squidge that all in together and I'm going to give my hands a wash before I add in the salt and the pepper. Good twist of salt and a good couple of twists of black pepper. And you can adapt these beef burgers, you can make them like gourmet beef burgers you could add in some, um, some like sun-dried tomato paste. You could roast some peppers and add those in into it as well. Um, you could make them beef and pork by adding in some pork mince. Or you could make lamb beef burgers by adding by using lamb instead of the beef and adding in some freshly chopped mint. I mean, really, for about four people, you're looking at 500 grams of mince, whatever beef pork, lamb, and one onion, and one egg, and that's it. Now, if you like your beef burgers quite coarse, now I have got a fussy son who will not eat this if he sees that there are onions in there. So I'm gonna do two different ones. I'm gonna do a normal, quite coarse beef burger for the adults, and I'm gonna whiz up some of this mixture in my wonderful pink magic mix, um, so my son won't know that there are any onions. So I've put around about half the mixture in here and I've used the really small bowl. Give that a whiz up. Now this has chopped it up beautifully fine. So you can hardly notice the onion. You're also going to have a much smoother burger so you can really kind of do these to um, every individual taste. So take them out, shape them into a round Flatten them down. If you want to do them thick, then just remember you're going to have to make sure that this is cooked all the way through. And then these need to go into the fridge, covered in cling film, for a good 30 minutes just to chill off. So, you know, I'm going to cook these later on tonight. It's a really nice garnish for these. Um, I've sliced up an onion quite thickly and I've painted it with a mixture of olive oil and balsamic vinegar and I've just popped those under a hot grill or in a hot oven for about 10 minutes until they've actually caramelised. So once, oh look at this gorgeous, oh, all the sugars will taste delicious. So once I've cooked my beef burger, I can slice open my bun, pop some crispy lettuce on there, some chopped tomato or some slices of tomato, some slices of this wonderful caramelised onion um, and then some yummy homemade tomato ketchup. Now how easy was that? I mean that took, to make those hamburgers, less than five minutes just to chop the onion, mix it all together, add in the egg and then you're away and at least you know that your beef burgers are made of beef, not anything else. <laughs> 